Hi everybody, Keith Best here, and in this video I'm just going to go over and show you how to set up the hosting. So once you've bought your domain, you've bought your hosting, um, basically you've come in here, so this is Pest Control Canals County I've just bought. It's one I'm just going to add to the Pest Control site. So basically to set this up on WordPress, you just come across here and just click on the primary domain. So what that does, opens it up in a different browser tab for you and goes straight to the install.php. So you can leave it on there. Press continue. Put in your site title. Put in your username. And put in a password. I'll just put this in for now and I'll change it. That'll do. Okay, um, password. So I remember it, but I'm going to change it anyway. Uh, your email. Now, if you're going to be building this site out, I would make your email here, your info at, your site name, because this is what's going to be put in the actual settings as the admin email for that site. But I'm going to, I'll change that anyway, so I'm just putting this one in for now. So install WordPress. We'll log in. So it was messy and it was I think that was it. Again. So that's it. That is my site now set up for WordPress. Obviously, like I said, I'll change all the things. But as you can see, if you go into general, you can see it's got this in, and also it's not an HTTPS yet, but we will change that in a minute. And that all I would do is once I've created the emails, I will actually then change that and go and get an e because it will send an email to that address. I haven't set them addresses up yet. So what we need to do is jump back into here. Okay, so we've now set up the site on WordPress. Now there's a few things inside here what we need to do to get everything optimized properly. So the first thing we're going to do is look at this web optimization. I'm going to there. And the first thing to do is turn on all the defaults. Okay, so you get all the defaults on. And then what I do is I'll go down and anything that's low risk, I'll turn on. I think medium risk I'll read. Now it says combine multiple head tags into one. You shouldn't have multiple head tags, so we'll combine them. Reduce the transfer size of the HTML files by removing attributes from tags when it's equal to default. You don't need that, so we'll do that. You're not gonna have PDFs, but we'll turn on anyway. Resource preloading, yep, we can have that turned on. Pre-solve DNS, yep, we can have that on. Remove comments. So this is just removing any comments what developers will put in the code. So yep, remove quotes, we can put that on. And from URLs. 
for JavaScript, we can do that. Do not defer this JavaScript. What that does is put your JavaScript at the bottom. Now, some of your stuff might actually need the JavaScript to be running. So it's always best not to do that one. We can't do that one. And we can do that one. So all these are on. So we can move the CSS to the head. Leave that one. And we can remove the style attributes if we need to. Now the images one, I haven't really tested all this. Now, obviously, when you're doing all the image stuff, all of this is basically what's done by your plugins. Like I say, I haven't tested it to see what difference it'll make. Now, I know for a fact I won't be putting any animated images on, so I can do that anyway. Lossless, again, it depends on, it might affect your images. So if this is a site where your images are important, I wouldn't do it or test it and then decide whether you want to do it. I might get around to testing it, but it's not something I'm really that bothered about. So I'm just gonna, I just put all of these on. So that basically, because at the end of the day, this is all of what your plugins do. And I'm just, it'll save me adding a plugin and I'll get my speed up. Okay, so we've done all them. So we can purge the cache. Okay, so now we'll go back to here. We'll go into the edge caching. I haven't played a lot with this yet, so again, it's a case of. I'll probably do more uh, testing on it. We've got to just make sure it's on. And you can change any of these if you want to, but I'm just going to leave them as well. Because like I said, I haven't played with it. So I don't really want to start messing until I get some testing data on it. So back into Canaris there. So like I say, you would set your email accounts up if you want them. Obviously, if you don't, you just leave them. I always set one email account up, like an info, hello, or whatever at, and then just forward it to uh, any sort of email address, one that I don't really bother out. And that's just to catch the spammers. If you need to go in and update your PHP version, which I would always check this, the moment they are uploading it as 7.0 that will probably change but at the moment it's 7.0 so upload it to 7.4 and do change and then go back and then the other thing with PHP is I've never had any issues uploading any plugins or anything like that. But you might have, uh, depending on the plugins, what you load. If you get like the um, link is disabled or not found or things like that, then it could be due to your actual size. You just come in here and you can upload them to what you want. You can put that like say 512 or you know something like that. If you need to, like I say, I'm not going to mess with these because Every plugin I require, I've uploaded quite fine on these settings. And I think that's about it. You don't need any, oh yes there is, sorry, one more. SSL TLS, go into here. Now it depends on your, this one I have, this one I've just literally, um, set up, but because it's a brand new domain, it does tend to come across quite quickly. So I've just set the name servers up, um, probably about five ten minutes ago. Because you need the name server set the NS1 stack, 
dns.com, ns2stackdns.com, ns3, and ns4. Now, on a brand new domain, they do tend to propagate quite quickly. If this was a domain you had, say, already on, like a Namecheap, then it, it can take up to 24 hours for them to actually propagate. In which case, you wouldn't see that. You would just say it's saying, this domain is not on our name server yet. So you just wait until that's done. Now, I would wait until this is actually, I can activate this before I would start building my site out. So that my site is on HTTPS. So you just do activate free SSL. Don't enable the forced HTTPS, not until your site's fully built, because otherwise at this moment in time, it would just mess your site up. You wouldn't be able to have access to it unless you take this off. Because at the moment, we've only got it on HTTP. Okay, so we've got free SSL on there now. As it says, it will take 30 minutes for it to kick in. Okay, so what I would do is normally I would wait 30 minutes and then do this, but for now I'm just going to change it. So you just put S on there, S on there. Like I said, I would change that and then do save changes. So you now get, because I don't have a valid certificate, it's coming up with this. But to get to your site, you just do advanced, accept the risk, and then you've got to log in again. And I thought what the login was. Okay, so it says you've got the HTTPS. Now in half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, that will change where I won't have the warning sign because I will actually have a certificate for it. And then I can start building out my site and I don't need to add anything like sort of really simple SSL or anything like that to the site because everything will be HTTPS. And that's it. Just jump back to here just to make sure. Got a sitemap generator. Now, I'm not sure about that one yet. So again, I will probably do a different video on that to see what it's like. Um, but that's it, basically. Everything's set up. So you've added your domain, you've put, installed your WordPress, you've done your web optimization, you've done your caching. Like I said, if you want to do your emails, you can do. You change your PHP version. If you need to change your PHP configuration, it's there and you've set the SSL on. Okay guys, hope that was helpful. Catch you on the next video, bye.